This is Dr. Amel Drizi. In this video, we are discussing why the anterior chronic endometritis should be abandoned for the concept of impaired inflammatory state of the endometrium. And today, we are dealing with definition and basic concepts. Until summer 2020, moment of publication of our paper, Impaired Inflammatory State of the Endometrium, a multifaceted approach to endometrial inflammation, there was only one entity referred to when dealing with chronic inflammation of the endometrium, termed chronic endometritis, consensually acknowledged as follows. Definition in this complete review article published in Fertile Sterile by the beginning of 2020, we can read about chronic endometritis defined as localized inflammation in the endometrial mucosa. Another term encountered in all the literature is persistent inflammation. Regarding etiology, Chronic endometritis is either caused by something inside the cavity, like a foreign body, an IUD, a polyp, retained products of conception, etc., in which case the cause is obvious, visually detectable. Or, in all the other cases, it is caused by germs, or better yet, altered microbiota. Therefore, when no intrauterine mass is identified, Infectious etiology is the only one accepted for chronic endometritis until 2020. Clinically, it is often asymptomatic. Sometimes, nonspecific symptoms like abnormal uterine bleeding, dyspareunia, infertility, repeated miscarriage, etc. Hysteroscopically, the International Working Group for Standardization of Chronic Endometritis Diagnosis, published in Fertile Sterile by mid-2019, Unified Diagnostic Criteria for Chronic Endometritis at Hysteroscopy. The hysteroscopic diagnostic criteria are Micropolyps, Focal Hyperemia, stromal edema, strawberry aspect, plus an additional criterion, hemorrhagic spots. Definitive diagnosis is provided by histopathology, mainly identification of plasma cells, facilitated by immunohistochemical staining for CD 138. Therapeutically, antibiotics, the treatment of chronic endometritis always and exclusively based on antibiotics, unanimously approved gold standard in the literature to date. Now in our recently published paper, what has really changed? What novelties? Actually, the main novelty is to rethink all the previous criteria. By providing evidence from the literature demonstrating the limits of the concept of chronic endometritis. Today's video is dedicated to basic definitions. And so, by definition, is chronic endometritis a pertinent appellation of the problem? The fact is, the endometrium is the site of a cyclical injury healing process. However, repeated acute inflammation is one of the patterns of chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation can result from recurrent episodes of acute inflammation. And this is in all the books of immunology and physiology. And so there's already a chronic inflammation in physiological endometrium. It starts with menstruation, a sort of an injury, leading to release of pro-inflammatory mediators, causing acute inflammation. 
A few days later, active pro-resolving factors intervene, leading to progressively decrease the inflammatory process, allowing repair and regeneration. Additionally, in the endometrium, all the inflammation mediators are daily involved. Cytokines, lymphocytes, eosinophils, neutrophils, histiocytes, all physiologically involved in a time-fluctuating fashion, variably active throughout the whole menstrual cycle in a time-dependent cyclical pattern. And by the way, the endometrium has been providing a unique template for physiologists and immunologists to study inflammation, angiogenesis, and tissue repair. And this is actually acknowledged in all the books and articles of immunology and physiology dealing with this topic. Normal menstrual cycle is the result of a delicate balance between pro-inflammatory factors and pro-resolving factors. In simpler words, chronic endometritis literally means chronic inflammation of the endometrium, however, Normal endometrium is already in a chronic inflammatory state. It is really a unique tissue in the body. And so, since chronic endometritis means persistent inflammation of the endometrium, and as there is clearly a physiological inflammatory state in normal endometrium, hence, there needs to be a more accurate terminology to describe disorder. A more pertinent term would be not chronic endometritis, but impaired inflammatory state of the endometrium. Impaired inflammatory state of the endometrium, IISE. IISE is a more global concept designating any impaired mechanism of the physiological inflammatory process already involved in the endometrium, not only plasma cells. It could be as well molecular mechanisms, cellular, vascular, whether it be transient, recurrent, or persistent. And most importantly, it could be triggered by germs, but also by non-infectious conditions. As a matter of fact, in all the references of immunology, inflammation is a biological reaction to disrupted tissue homeostasis triggered by any interfering factor. That includes microbial pathogens, true, but also mechanical trauma, extreme temperatures, ischemia, hypoxia, foreign bodies, pollutants, toxic, irritant, metabolic, and allergenic agents. And so that's it for definition today. You can read a lot more in our paper, which I link to in the description below. Coming up in the future, more videos about physiopathology, etiology, hysteroscopic diagnosis, histopathology, and therapeutic management. Thank you for your attention.